Hi guys, welcome to Pagupai Vichan. In this video, we will see about one of the project management tools, Gantchat. Gantchat is used by many of the project managers across the globe to visualize their schedule. Each project has different tasks and each task has its own duration. So starting and end task are plotted to find the entire project duration. Many people use Excel to create this Gantt chart, but most of the people create a static Gantt chart. For example, I'm just changing task to start date. You can see there is no change in the schedule comes under the visualization. So here I have given the start date. For example, I'm making it to 10th of August, but you can see there is no change in the visualized area. But when it comes to dynamic chart, if you see by changing the date, automatically the schedule also changes. Do you want to know how to create this kind of dynamic can chart? then we will show you in this video. Before going ahead, we request you to subscribe our channel to learn these kind of new techniques. We will keep on posting these kind of videos to educate young professionals. Now, going ahead, I have just plotted all seven tasks and its start dates along with its duration. So end date is obviously start date plus number of days just copy paste it start date is minimum of all tasks end date of project maximum of all tasks The project duration will be end date minus start date of the project. So it will take around 38 days. So here now I'm going to plot the dates. The start date has to be the start date of the project. I'll just show you how to make this vertical since I have already formatted this it is available. So if I'm Generally, this is used to be in zero degrees. If you make it 90 degrees, it will become a vertical one. Plus one will make the dates to be visible. I'm taking it back to this is around the 46 days, 16 September. Fine. Now we are going to use some formulas and then conditional formatting. First, use if, then in logical test. We have to use and function. The start date has to be less than or equal to zero, less than or equal to this date. The next condition will be the end date has to be greater than or equal to same date. Your logical condition is over. If it fulfills, then I'm mentioning it as Y. If it is not, then it will be an empty cell. Now, in order to make this condition to copy paste, I have to fix my 
column. So I'm using dollar sign in front of B. Here the row has to be fixed, dollar sign in front of six. Column has to be fixed, dollar in front of C. Here dollar in front of six. Now use control D. Then go on to the right up to the end, use control R. You can find almost our work is done. Now how to color it, I'll show you. Select this area, go to conditional formatting, go to highlight cells rules, select text that contains, then select Y. I'm mentioning green fill, then click OK. So in some color we have received. Now I will show you further how to format this colorings and all. Go to manage rules. So we have only one rule, select that, edit that rule, then go to format. And here the font color, I'm going to select this green. Then go to fill, select the same color. Once you apply, you can't able to visualize why in the cells. So now our chart is almost ready. I'm just selecting this and coloring it for better visualization. Now, if I'm changing this to 21 days, you can see automatically the duration of this task increased to 28th August. Earlier, this was around 18th August. Now, if I'm making this to 15, then this has become 22nd August. In case if some of the tasks are interrelated to other tasks, for example, I am considering this task has to start after two days once this task is completed. See, this bar dynamically changes. So if I'm making this five automatically, the bar length gets reduced. So this is very, very simple to use a dynamic Gantt chart and we have shown you how to prepare a dynamic Gantt chart using Excel. If you have any queries, you can post it in the comment section. Please do subscribe our channel for more such fantastic videos. If you have any comments, you can post it in comment section. Thanks for watching. Bye bye.